Okay, this is Robert Cockrell with Smart Cell Phone. Uh, what we're going to have is an instruction video on how to properly cover a scissor lip. Okay, first thing you want to do is get up inside and extend out. Next, you need to make sure you have all the materials you need, which is a roll of tape, a knife, and plastic. All right. Take a roll of plastic. Take it right on the ground right here. Pull it up and over. Go up over this rail right here. Bring it down. So it's even right there. It's even with this. Okay. okay. Come over here. Okay. And drop. Alright. Now that you've got that. Right there. You take it. Straight it out. Stretch it out, and you grab your two cut ends that you have the short side, not the long side, but the short side. Or you've got it and fold it at the halfway point. This is your center point of your plastic. Okay, you got it marked right there. Take your piece of tape. Simple taking, you don't have to, you don't have to go bonanza on it. I usually put just three pieces on it per side. This always works better when you have two people doing it. One person can't do it, just bash it with two. Okay, about the center point. Now, 
Got your tape? Yeah, tape laying here in the floor. Okay. Uh, go ahead and move over. Come over here. So people can see inside. Okay, and that's the basics. Now, you just take your piece of tape and run it from a few select places. You don't have to run it. Got all the amount of places. Nice, simple slip right there. Okay, well, that was fine. All right. Now, the control panel. Control panel is important, okay? Because you don't want foam all over it. But yet, you see that I'm exposing it, and I'm tucking this down below it. You'll understand why here in just a minute. Go ahead and get you a piece of tape right over top of it. Okay, and that is a basic covering. Rod, could you hand me that piece of plastic right there? The little one? Yes. Now, this is just a scrap piece of plastic that we had left over from somewhere else. Okay. Look at it. Now I'm gonna cut it, because you don't need it too awful big. Okay, throw that excess on the ground and take it up later, it's trash. Okay. Piece of tape right here. So that way you can hold back pressure. They can run you a whole line of piece of tape right along it. And boom, there you go. Now you've got easy access to it access to it and it covers it because as you can see there's foam all over this you cannot read any of the controls if you don't cover it correctly okay so 
Now, when you're moving around and stuff, you can flip it over. When you start foaming, you've got coverage. It's protected. Okay. So now, the last thing that I'm going to do, I'm not happy with this, so I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of tape right here. But again, you don't have to use five miles of tape in order to cover this correctly. Alright. Now that that is done, you don't need to tape anymore. Okay. So what you do is, see how it's hanging on the ground. You don't need that much on the ground. So, there's two creases right there. About halfway, you cut it. Okay. You can bend over and do it, or you can raise it up right like that, so that way you can go across and cut it. I use that excess plastic to do the covering. I just happen to have another piece. Okay, so now you drop it down. Okay, and if you want to do a few tie ups, or tie in up, should I say, not tie ups, you just come over here and there are a few select places. We like to use these to hold our hoses. But that is the proper way to cover a scissor blade. It has full coverage, it is protected, and granted, there's nothing you can do about these side rails other than scrape them off or spray some uh, release on them. But as far as the controls and everything up there, you're 100% covered. This is Robert with Smart Seal Insulation. Thank you and good day.